Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. It's February 1st, and I'm starting a new journey here on YouTube. I'm adding YouTube to my social media channel. My name's Ken Lynch, and uh, I spent the year last year, uh, 2022, giving, giving daily shout-outs of gratitude to people that were in my Rolodex. And uh, the reason I did that is on New Year's Day... 2022, I was going through a tough time, going through a divorce and after 30 plus years of uh, marriage and stuff, three kids, and it, it was just horrible. Another day, another story. But uh, rather than fall into my pity party and being depressed and, and dealing with anxiety, I made a commitment to give a shout out of gratitude just to try to develop skills on how to show gratitude <clears throat> and how to be grateful. Because, you know, quite often when we're in the depths of despair, you know, and we're troubled in those dark, deep places where, you know, you just feel like there's no, no, no way out, you know, no matter how many times you try to go out, make yourself feel good, get fresh air, work out and stuff. There's just not that moment, uh, aha moment you're looking for, right? To get you out of that pit. Um, so I decided to give out a shout of gratitude to a childhood friend of mine named David Habercorn on January 1st, that started a year long journey. So I would just pick names out of my Rolodex. It could have been friends, family members, uh, associates, co-workers and I spent some time thinking about why I was grateful that they were in my life and I'd record a selfie video like I'm doing today with just a short shout out of gratitude sometimes I'd have scripture in there sometimes I'd mix it up with uh, um, you know uh, things that could help them uh, uh, you know just lift their spirits through the day and I'd post it and I post it on Facebook and Instagram and throughout the course of the year I do this every day and it was quite an experience I uh, I gave my last shout out of gratitude on December 31st and signed off. But this past month, I've been really thinking it was weighing on my heart. You know, maybe I can reach some more people. So I created this YouTube channel and I uh, wanted to start off by uh, just welcoming you. If you're a first time listener and follower of me, my name's Ken. I live in Southern California. Um, I'm actually visiting my brother, my sister-in-law, and my nieces out here in the state of Wisconsin. I'm in Medford, Wisconsin, uh, at about 17 feet of snow, something I'm not used to. <laughs> it's not quite that bad, but... What I wanted to share with you today is, you know, I was in my men's group last night and it was pretty cool. You know, we were just talking about how to deal with anxiety, you know, and what is anxiety? Anxiety is just nothing more than worrying about things that haven't happened yet in the future, right? So we start projecting all the negative things that could be happening as a result of what's happening to us today. And, uh, you know, someone told me a long time ago, when you start doing those projections and projecting negative thoughts and feelings about things that haven't even happened yet, it creates anxiety. So anxiety is nothing more than uh, projecting the unreal. So uh, uh, if projections are unreal, then the unreal doesn't exist. Let me repeat that. Projections are unreal, therefore the unreal doesn't exist. So the focus today is just to worry about what's going on today. Tomorrow has enough worries of its own. You've probably heard that in scripture if you've ever read the Bible, right? You know, God says, don't worry about tomorrow. It has enough troubles of its own. Just take care of today. And if you stay present in the day, you'll find a lot more peace than worrying and projecting about the negative things that haven't even happened yet and probably won't happen tomorrow. And on the flip side of the coin, if you're depressed, Depression is all about worrying about yesterday, the things that happened in the past, you know, all the negative comments you maybe made to people that you, you regret, things you did, sinful nature, you know, whatever it might have been that's got you worried about the past, things you can't control because you can't change them. There's nothing you can do. It's behind you. Forget about it because if you dwell on it, you're going to be depressed about it. If you project, you're going to be building anxiety. So the focus is just staying present and showing gratitude for what you have today. There's always something to be grateful for. I'm grateful for my health, being forgiven, redeemed, uh, for my employment, for the food on, on my stomach, the clothes on my back, you know, uh, having three great kids, a bright sunny day, you know, um, you know, being able to see, hear, feel, touch, love, um, communicate, and have all my senses. There's always something to be grateful for. And that's why I started the journey last year, learning how to be grateful, even in the most difficult times, and to show gratitude. So what I wanted to share with you today is this. In my men's group last night, to leave you uh, with my first, uh, you know, just communication to the outside world here, uh, outside of Facebook and Instagram, is, uh, is this. You know, often we're asking in prayer to be forgiven, you know, for the things that we've said and done so that we're not living in the past 
or building anxiety, right? About things that haven't happened yet. And uh, we're asking for people to forgive us for the things we've wronged them on. We're asking God to forgive us. You know, whoever it is that you're asking forgiveness for or from, um, you probably never thought about forgiving yourself. And in my men's group last night, uh, one of the one of the f- folks in that meeting, he says, you know, he 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 did that recently, and I and I went to, I went to bed last night. I was thinking, man, you know, of all the people and the things that I've asked for forgiveness for, one of the things that I've been dealing with is not actually forgiving myself. You know, it's okay to say to yourself, hey, I forgive you. You're forgiven. And I'm not going to hold on to it anymore. You know, in scripture, God says, you know, confess your sins to me and I'll forgive you and remember them no more. Let me repeat that. Confess your sins to me and I'll forgive you and remember them no more. It's not that he's got a forgetful mind and he's going to forget the sins. But what he's doing is he's trying to set an example for you the listener right now, that if you're asking God for forgiveness and the creator of the universe is not only willing to forgive you, but to not remember your sins anymore, then why the hell am I worried about my sins? Why am I hanging on to them? Why am I being depressed? Why am I worrying about yesterday things I can't change? And therefore also projecting in the future negative things that might be coming as a result of those uh, hangups I have that I haven't been able to forgive myself and forget about it. Forget about it. So don't forget today, when you do ask for forgiveness, forgive yourself and know that the creator of the universe has forgiven you. He loves you and he's moving on and he wants you to do the same thing. All right, so be brave, be strong, go get what's yours today and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.